Hello everyone, let's upgrade the Steam Dex SSD. I had this from my Ally, it's a 512GB SSD that I had like lying around and my Steam Deck is 256, so in the spirit of the new Steam OLED announced, let's upgrade my old guy and then I'll be saying goodbye to him in order to buy the new one. I really want to get my hands on the OLED one and I can't justify having the Steam Deck, the old Steam Deck, the Ally and also the OLED version. So you can follow along or you can just listen on your second monitor, whatever floats your boat. But yeah, Steam just announced the OLED model, which has similar performance but does have a slightly shrunken chip. So. In my opinion, it's really similar to what Nintendo did with their Nintendo Switch OLED model. Because like the performance is kind of the same, but it's a little bit more efficient and cooler. And that actually makes it a slightly better one. I don't have the Valve's model in hand, so I, I'm just saying what I saw on the internet. But it looks really cool. Especially the, the thing I liked the most was the shrunken bezels. Like the bezels on this guy are chonky, but... And also, I've been using my Ally like primarily. Haven't been touching my Steam Deck, so I wanna send it off. I'm gonna sell it, but I wanna send it off as the ultimate Steam Deck. And for that reason, since I already have this 512 GB SSD, might as well just like upgrade it, right? So let's get right into it. If you wanna follow along, be sure to let your battery, the Steam Deck's battery, charge below 25%. I believe that's recommended for not uh, for the lithium battery not to like spontaneously combust or something. And be sure also remove check and remove if you have an SD card here. If you don't have like me, you're golden. If you do, then remove it. Okay, so let's start by removing these eight screws. Okay, so the screws are unscrewed. And when you're doing this, be sure to mark your screws because there's two different kinds, a smaller one and a longer one. Uh, these longer ones are in the corners though and I, I believe that's, I believe they are the same and you can just use the long ones in the corners right here. So next up, let's get the spudger and start cracking it open. During this step, if you're having problems as I am right now, try starting out from this edge right here and just slide alongside this one and then go around the corner and from this side this helped and let me make it through and open up because like the initial opening of it is really tough and I have opened this one before so it should be a little bit loosier than a brand new stinking one but still I'm having this much problems. And again, don't forget to remove the SD card because if you don't, you might break the SD card or the shell itself or both. Okay. And I think we're in, finally. There we go. Okay. These are the Gula Kid Hall sensing joysticks we installed like a while ago now. Uh, and I really like them. They, there was a stucking issue for a while, but that like moved out and I had no problems, no issues. It is interesting, you can see, like the cable is being pushed out while I'm using the joystick. But I think that's okay. I don't think that's anything to be scared about. If I click on it, it's fine, yeah. Totally fine. The only bummer is that I believe, I suspect my unit was sometime repaired and this sticker is messed up. So in your case, just peel the sticker gently with a like tweezers or something and try to reapply it as best as you can. If your sticker is messed up like mine, I guess that doesn't matter. Oh yeah, the other thing I actually figured out while I was researching the OLED model is that the Steam Deck actually had a tiny refresh where you don't have this steel, like not steel, aluminum plate here, but you have like a darker one, a black one without the sticker. 
as I said, the sticker in my case is really messed up. You, you should try to peel this off like nicely, but I was surprised that there actually was a slight revision model. So yeah, if you have the white one, the silver one like mine, you need to remove these three screws as I'm about to do. If you have the black one, I'm sorry, it's a little bit different for you. I'm not quite sure how exactly, but it shouldn't be too different. Also, the, the cool thing with the new OLED model, I watched a few like this assembly videos and the joysticks are a little bit switched out. Not switched out, I mean changed. Uh, the, give me a second while I get this off. Should probably try doing it like so. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Look at those thermal pads. I'm such a nerd. I love this stuff. I love disassembling things. Wait a second. Oh no, this bracket is held down by the... Okay, okay, I got it. I thought a screw was missing. I was gonna get pissed. Yeah, so what I noticed with the new... I mean, this is the old one, the old, old one. What I noticed with the new uh, OLED Steam Deck... Of course, the battery is bigger. That's a huge plus because the screen is smaller apparently and takes less space in the case. And also the joysticks have like little ears here. Not like flat, but have like uh, protruding ears that clip onto the shoulder buttons. So the shoulder buttons use the joysticks as a support. I might be wrong on this because I don't have the unit itself, but I thought that was really interesting. And uh, yeah, so joysticks will need to be reused. As I said, I have the original Gully Kit as uh, the Gully Kit joysticks as well, and I had to re-solder my uh, caps. I mean, I can't show you because I have the the nubs here, but these guys, I had to re-solder them. Oh yeah, another thing they changed, they changed the nubs, right? They still uh, kept with the, uh, not the whole sensing joysticks, apparently because of like uh, stability issues, but they did change the nubs, so I'm really curious, how do they feel? Because I've been using these like, basic generic PS4 thumb grips, and I've been enjoying them, and also I like the aesthetic, but enough with the rambling. Let's get, let's get straight to the SSD. As we can see here, it's right here, baby. So the, oh yeah, almost forgot. Rookie mistake. Uh, there's a pull tab here for the battery, so make sure to, uh, if it could work for me, make sure to try, yep, there we go. Try to disconnect the battery with the pull tab. There we go, okay. Just pull on the tab, and if you can, just use tweezers. Don't use your fingers like me. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> okay, so there's the SSD. Let's get straight into it. Just remove this single piece of screw and it should shoot straight up. Why is it? Oh, sorry guys, nudged. I nudged you. There we go. Okay, and you can just Wiggle it out and there we go. Now the thing is we want to keep this shielding safe and reuse it on the other SSD. So if possible, just try to like gently shimmy it off. If not, you can peel it, I believe. Okay, so let's see. So I have a Kingston. Is this what comes defaulted? Because I did uh, buy my Steam Deck second, not second hand, but of the secondary market. So I have a weird suspicion since this Steam Deck was opened and tampered with. I believe it's, it probably was the 64 gigabyte model and just upgraded, right? Let me know in the comments if you know. Is this the default 256 gigabyte uh, Steam Deck SSD card? I am EU based, so maybe that's why, but. I have a weird suspicion, I bought a new Steam Deck that actually had its SSD swapped out, swapped out already, so we'll see what happens. It was because of the shortage, where the wait times were so long, I couldn't wait anymore and I just bought it. And the funny thing is, my original pre-order was ready like 
two weeks after I purchased the other one. Okay, so let's see. This is the new one, the 512 gigabyte from my RG Ally, because the Ally is one terabyte now. And I have the shielding, and it first fits just perfectly. There we go. It feels a little bit loose, which is kind of surprising, but okay. So, and now, since we have the shielding, just at a 45 degree angle, shimmy it right in there. And then, oh no. And then don't lose the screw as I just did, but yeah, it should be fine. I think it's this one, yeah, just get the screw. Oh god, that's so loose. You guys see that? Maybe I should like tighten it up. Ah, yeah, it's probably okay. It's probably okay, right? Okay, so just uh, screw that bad boy in. Oh yeah, it's fine. Once it's screwed, it's fine. Okay. And just uh, reassemble the device so I won't bore you with this part. Let's just quickly reconnect the battery and I'll jump straight into how to prepare your uh, boot drive to re-download SteamOS on the device. So, see you guys in a bit. If I don't destroy my Steam Deck by reassembling it. And there you have it. I have reassembled my Steam Deck with the old 256 card out and the new one in. It's completely dead, so I'm just gonna let it charge for a little bit. And while we do that, let's jump back to the computer and get the recovery and images and files needed to actually boot SteamOS on this new SSD. Okay, so now that we have our new SSD installed in the Steam Deck, the next thing you need to do is go to Steam's page for recovery instructions and download the recovery image. It should bring you to this site, just click the box and download the deck image. And in order to actually boot this image, we'll use the utility Rufus. You can get it uh, on this site as well. It'll just take you to this site and go to the download section and you can download whichever fits your whichever floats your boat. I'm just gonna get the portable version. And once you got your Steam Deck recovery file downloaded, just extract it somewhere in your computer because we'll be using it in the next step. Okay, so once you have the recovery files extracted and you have Rufus downloaded, open it up and also you need a storage device that should be at least 8 gigabytes. So in my case I'm using a 16 gigabyte USB stick and you want to choose that, press select and go to the location that you extracted your file to. In my case it's here and just you want to click on this file and everything else should be set and done. You don't need to change anything else, just press start and wait for it to complete. It'll give you this warning saying that all the data on the device will be destroyed, but that's okay in my case because I'm using an empty USB stick. And it's done. So yeah, once we have our USB ready to go, this is my USB stick that I installed the uh, recovery file on. And yeah, you're gonna need something like this. This is a USB-C hub that has like USB ports and micro USB ports and also SD card ports. But I'm pretty sure if you have an SD card reader, you could make the SD card uh, bootable. I believe so. I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty like 99% sure you can. Let's see if the Steam Deck actually made some charge. Oh, that's funny. Oh wow, that's really funny. Do you guys see this? That's so funny. What's better than a Steam Deck OLED? A Steam Deck Ally. I mean, it's already white, and look at this. I have Armory Crate. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe this. This is magnificent, ladies and gentlemen. I was not expecting this. Okay, this is a little bit awkward then, but... Oh my god, it's so hilarious. Are you kidding me? This is amazing. This is actually amazing. Well, give me a moment until I fix this issue. It shouldn't have happened, but this is hilarious. I want to keep it in. I was sitting here waiting for my device to charge until I realized this thing has power delivery, so that's great. Okay, so let's start. Uh, we need to hold, I can see, 
the power up ball uh, volume plus the power on button and we should get ourselves into the bio there we go we got the steam logo that's a good sign okay no longer windows you want to select your usb device or the sd card as your boot device in my case as you saw there's also a windows option but we want to ignore that for now because we want to boot into steam os and want to flash steam os on the windows drive but that was so hilarious i wasn't expecting especially since the uh, the screen was like vertical that's what got me the most because as you know the steam deck uses like a vertical screen that they flip that's why they said they can't have uh, more than 60 hertz on this oh yeah by the way i can't wait i like the one thing i love about the ally the most is 120 hertz screen i mean the screen in general is better i like 1080p and like 120 hertz but uh, the steam deck is still 800p so around 720p but oled's gonna be a game changer i believe because like the colors at least in my opinion uh where's my vita this is the og trendsetter for oled screens and it still looks great and still feels great just look at the size comparison by the way when this device came out it was like a, a giant right I mean, okay, maybe not a giant, but it was like bigger than a DS, around the size of the 3DS XL, but like, just look at the size of these things, yeah. Yeah, so this is the original trendsetter for the OLED phase, and I love this thing to bits. So I'm really pumped that the Steam Deck OLED will have a 90Hz refresh screen, I believe. So OLED plus 90Hz. Seems like a sweet deal. I still don't know about the performance. It's probably gonna be like similar-ish, but I believe the Tinkering community will get the new chip like running cooler and faster at the same time, so it'll be really interesting to see. Now the, I don't know if you can see, but the USB is flashing, but this is taking quite a while, so I'll be right back once this all finishes. Oh, I see some life in this. Okay, so we have four icons up here. We can use the mouse with our trackpad and everything so far seems good. This took about like five to eight minutes. So don't be discouraged if you're stuck on the uh, initial screen there. Okay, so once you get to this screen, you want to click on re-image uh, Steam Deck and click proceed and let this finish out. So I'll see you guys after all of this completes. Okay, it, it seems to be done. And it's prompting you to complete the process. Just click proceed. The device will restart. And we should see ourselves in the starting screen. So all in all, this process was really simple. Just took some time to re-image the partitions and download stuff. But overall, it was really simple. And it was hilarious when I saw the uh, ROG uh, software on running on the steam deck vertically i don't know why that was funny but overall yeah i'm really excited for the steam oled mo model i really want to shrink these bezels i wouldn't have better joysticks even though these are these are pretty sick when once i switch them out and i just want to have a longer battery even though that's not really my concern i still primarily play my uh allied like wired at 30 watts capped manual mode so <laughs> i'm not really the target the demographic for a bigger battery but bigger battery is always nice so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed and leave down below in the comments what do you think of the steam oled is just valve being like a, a nintendo ripoff at this point they made the switch and now they're making the switch oled it's like they shrink the die the same as the switch does they shrink the bezels the same as the switch does and I'm wondering, does the, uh, the Steam Deck use the same display as the Nintendo Switch one? The OLED one? We'll see. But I'll leave you guys with that. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully more consistent uploads will be coming in the near future. And I'll see you next time. Peace. Bye-bye.